Hey guys, up Sander, a lot to uh, talk about in this video. First of all, um, in the uh, little thing, basically there's a guy, Mod Matt K, who's obviously a Jagex mod. And what was interesting, I went to his little event about a week ago. He was basically going around and um, showing people where Scythe were, and I already had one, but I was figured, well, it'd be cool to see a J mod, so I got some screens of him, and I kind of even met him, and it was funny la late after that. He uh, followed me on Twitter, which I thought was pretty funny. A Jagex mod is following me on Twitter. You know, it's not that big of a deal. RuneScape's not a massive game, but uh, I thought that was funny. So um, I was accepted by him to write in this little uh, kind of e-magazine that he's hosting. And, you know, Jagex is hosting. So if you guys want to check that out, I wrote an article, a, a pretty extensive one, about whether or not we should have uh, God Wars Dungeon in 2007 RuneScape, if it would be possible. Um, so I, th I think you guys would like reading that, so I'll link that in the description. You can check that out if you want. Um, so that's that. What we're doing now is I am uh, going to get 100 combat. As you may know, I've been training strength and attack and defense and hit points all through the controlled whip uh, style lash, which gives strength XP. A lot of people say the whip doesn't give strength XP, but you can in fact train strength if you use control. The only disadvantage is that you also have to divide the XP up to attack and defense. But since I'm not a pure or anything, that really isn't an issue. Um, it is annoying to get the skills kind of slower, even though it's the same speed overall. Like, the levels seem to not come as fast, but then they all come at once. Like, I'll be training for like days and then I'll suddenly get an attack strength and defense and HP level it won't be like every day I'll get a strength level or something like that but the advantage of doing this is that you don't have to use the dragon scimitar uh, the dragon scimitar is not very good compared to the whip it has much lower stats so if you can use a whip and train control it'll save you actually quite a lot of time because the dragon skim is it's not that great you know if you're 60 attack it, it's your best option but if you're 70 attack you really want to be sticking with a whip um, we do have to kill these gargoyles in the Slayer Tower. Um, there's no Chaos Tunnels or Curdles Dungeon here, so we're going to go and uh, wear our little nose peg. I actually forgot to do this the first time. Actually, I had it in my inventory. I forgot to wear it. And if you get hit by an Aberrant Spectre without a nose peg, um, my stats will go down to 16, which kind of sucks. So I had to go like drink Restore Pots, which I didn't have any on me. Uh, so we're going up the stairs here. I got 76 Slayer not too long ago, which is a pretty high level. Um, it's still a bit of a way to go to uh, 85, but, you know, we're getting there. And also at 80, there's Necreals, which, you know, Rune Boots are still worth a decent amount. And uh, speaking of Slayer drops, I did, in fact, get some Granite Mauls. This is my second Gargoyles task. And in one trip, I actually got... I was using Strength... I was using D-Skim there just to... Uh, get the level so I can make make it for this video, or get some strength XP for this video. Um, I got a, three granite mauls, and what was interesting is that the second and third granite mauls were actually back-to-back -back drops. So I got I killed a gargoyle, got a granite maul, killed another one, got another granite maul. So that was pretty cool getting back-to-back. -back. I also got back-to-back -back rune kites from Ice Trolls. I don't know, I keep getting these back-to-back -back drops, but, you know, unless they're like whips or something, it's really not that big of a deal. But the rarity of getting that is very high, so I think it's at least worth men's training. Um, so we're looking at about 3k XP left, and it's since we're training controlled here, it's actually going to be around 6k. So that'll take, still going to take quite a while, but there's plenty to talk about. So one thing which I might make another video about is how uh, people keep talking about how we need to have this pre-EOC server released. And I think that's kind of ridiculous. The guy who posted the video, there's a guy who posted a video, 13 Buffalo or Buffalo, um, making a little petition saying, hey, we want the, you know, 2010 or whatever servers back. And um, what's interesting is that I actually knew that guy pretty well. I, me and him used to go be Kang um, before this video was ever, before old school RuneScape was even a concept. Back in like 2012, 2011, we would. Go Peking, actually probably around 2010, which is what the, the whole thing's about. 
So, but I haven't really talked to him in the past six months because I really didn't play much when the EOC came out, and I, I don't think he did either. But I still have him on Skype, so maybe I'll uh, I'll talk to him soon. But basically, he's saying that some of the best years of RuneScape was when there actually was a trade limit. You know, you could there was a lot of good things about 2010 RuneScape. There was the economy was pretty good. I mean, you could kill, you could do Slayer and make plenty of money. You know, whips were like three or four mil, whatever like that and uh, in EOC now they're ALK value and in here they're dropping steadily I mean there's still a good money making source uh, there was God Wars you didn't yet have Karasi um, pre EOC could really mean a lot though I mean this is a pre EOC server um, I don't know it's kind of they're kind of the people who want this are kind of vague about what actually year it is but the consensus seems like 09 and 2010 and I completely disagree with this. I think this is a crazy idea because the only problem with 2007 RuneScape, which is a major problem, is that it creates a big schism kind of between EOC players or, or just regular RuneScape players, rather, and uh, 07 players. And that's a big problem we're still having to deal with. And to say let's do this again and have a third division, we kind of already have one with like RuneScape Classic, but that has about seven people online at peak hours so other than some bots but you know doing oh I forget the pot doing that again would be terrible I mean we don't have a huge community here you know at peak hours there's about 60k people online which is a decent which is a pretty good but you know some of those are bots and um, you know it's it's not that much to, so to say let's go and make a third game that's a little much you know, it's just not a good idea. And the second reason is that it's impossible. It, basically, Jagex said that the only backup that they ever had of RuneScape was the 2007 version, which is what we're playing. And they don't have a backup of 2010. I don't know why they don't. It's fine, because I don't want it anyway, but to, to say that, well, they said, the only thing is that they said, yeah, it, technically it might be possible if we just rebuilt the game from scratch. Like if we took the 2007 backup and we put all those new updates into it, technically, yeah, it'd be possible, but that would take tons of manpower and tons of resources, tons of programmers and tons of just experimentation, um, especially considering the fact that they actually admitted in the developer blogs that they're not even so sure if they can implement God Wars Dungeon into 2007 even though it's already mostly programmed into the game they really have no idea and they another thing they mention in uh, some of the forum posts is that they're actually having a very tough time making the uh, the new little mini game for for old school RuneScape it's very difficult to program this stuff um, if you know anything about how RuneScape is programmed it's not a very simple uh, thing to do so to remake the game and somehow get all those quests in there, somehow get the HD graphics, all the different interfaces, that would take, you know, ten times the manpower of the development team of EOC and 07 combined. So that's just not a practical idea at all. And if you do think that this would be a good idea, keep in mind, I've been playing this game before even 07, and some of the best years, I think, were in 2010 for me. I had good memories in 2007. I had good memories in the, the pre-EOC days and uh, in the in these days, the old school RuneScape days. But I think, honestly, yeah, the best ones were in somewhere around 2010. I did a lot of... I'll sh if I want to make another video... I guess this is kind of the video about that. So uh, let me, I might as well show you guys a few pictures. Hold on. Here's when I got 85 Slayer. This is around 2010. And that's how I started making a lot of money after... Uh, after I could camp Abyssal Demons. Here's me getting 99 attack, and uh, as if you can see over here, this is my first 99. Very uh, memorable day. In the uh, God Wars dungeon here, here's me getting six dragon boot drops in one Slayer task or so, or just trip, I don't remember what it was. Um, and as you see here, that was a lot of money back then. Here's me fighting the Avatar Nomad's uh, Requiem. This is uh, the quest for the, sli for the uh, what is it called? Soul Wars Cape, I guess you call it, uh, which gives the massive prayer bonus. I'm using Varax here. Here's me hitting 37 and 45 with the Dragon Albert. That's a pretty damn big hit. This w this picture was kind of funny. We were on a uh, 
a Zamrak trip with four people, and one guy had to leave because he, I don't know what he had to do, but he left, and the next kill after that, we actually got a Zamoraki in Spear, which 1.7 mil split. It's a pretty good split, you know, and he was kind of, he was really pissed off that he left and we, he missed the split, and uh, because of the trade limit, we actually didn't we couldn't split it with him. So uh, yeah, j those are just a taste of uh, some of my memories from 2010, 2009. And if you go on my channel, I have I think over 500 videos now, and a lot of them were made, you know, 2009, 10, 11. That's where I got most of my uh, you know fame, I guess. I have videos with you know over 70k views on on my channel from that era. So if you want, I can make a whole video on that. I have about like 500 pictures from that era so I just using this to, sh to show you guys look I've been playing that I played a lot during that time and yeah it was a really good time but the whole idea of this petition seems really impractical and the whole thing about them saying oh Jagex confirmed it that's saying that's them saying that it's possible if we put a massive amount of resources into doing that and only then it would only be an emulation kind of of, of the game because they'd have to reprogram it from scratch and it wouldn't be possible to do it identical. It'd still be a lot different and it would just be completely impractical. So that's my thoughts on that. I think I, I put a put a uh, my opinion out there pretty well and well represented. Um, so that's that. That's, and the other thing I was mentioning in the beginning of this video, I am in, uh, I did write that thing on the God Wars Dungeon. Um, I recommend you read it. It's not like a fishing like or anything. If, if you really think it is then open it like in a sandbox or on your phone or something um, basically I do support the God Wars dungeon being in here I initially didn't because I think well it's old school I don't want uh, the God Wars dungeon in old school RuneScape but you know it did come out in 2007 it's not that far, far of an up it's not that bad of an update and one thing I also mentioned in the little article I wrote is that um, you know, it wouldn't be the same as God Wars Dungeon was in 2012, right before EOC. You know, I could go to Bandos a year ago with a Yak, Full Torva, Rapier, Divine, and pretty much stay there for, you know, 50 or 60 kills or whatever. Um, or really just stay there until I got bored and wanted to leave. And uh, But for 07, there's no summoning, there's no, uh, you know, Dragon Claws. Um, so, this, the things with the actual drops would still be very valuable because the bosses are very hard to kill you can only if you solo and you're like max and you have piety and and full you know borrows and everything you can really only get a few kills if you're lucky so it's a lot different and I think it would oh, what am I doing I think it would be a good addition to the game um, I yeah I'm not a big fan of Bandos armor a lot of people have this great misconception that Bandos armor is very good um, in reality Bandos armor actually has less defense bonuses than uh, Barrows does, and his Barrows is significantly cheaper. But uh, in terms of the Armadil God, the God Swords, the Armadil God Swords are really the only major one. The others are really just kind of negligible. Um, you know, the Sarah God Sword is really fun for Slayer, which I would like to have. Um, Zamrak God Sword and Bandos really aren't too useful. And uh, Armadil God Sword, yes, it's a good KOing weapon, but it's very slow. You're losing out on the Rune Defender, and uh, against Vengeance, it could really... Oh, there we go. Then I got a screeny just in time. 100 combat woot. Anyway, yeah, not a big deal. But uh, yes, yes, it is a big deal. I actually changed my mind. It's a pretty big achievement. But uh, as I was saying, the Armadil God Sword is really not that bad. But it, it would be a fun KO weapon. And in terms of other things to, to adding to old school RuneScape, like the XP counter and soul wars and things like that I think that's going a little bit too far I think we do want to keep a uh, an old school kind of vibe for this you know I don't want dragon claws and shit like that to be in here this is old school runescape and God Wars Dungeon arguably yes is old school because it came out the very same month as this backup was released um, clan wars were always fun I don't really see a problem with that if they could somehow develop some sort of version of that you know Fist of Gothics it's a great mini game so that you can, we can certainly add some elements from 2010 RuneScape to old school RuneScape, but I don't think we should go too far with it. And the whole idea seems a little bit impractical and not a good idea. So uh, anyway, with 100 combat, what we can do here—the only main reason I wanted it 
is because I am done with that bitch in uh, Zanaris Shaldar or whatever, who constantly assigns Turas, Karasks, Bronze Dragons, all these shitty tasks, which are just either a complete waste of time, a, or a, you have to go to Borthorpe to uh, Toriel or whatever, and you have to go and cancel them or and get like monkeys as a task or whatever. So now I can go to Duradal in Shiloh Village and, and finally have the best Slayer Master. There's no Kur at all in, uh, in Old School RuneScape. So yeah, that's the main reason I wanted 100 Combat. So anyway guys, as I mentioned earlier, check out my little article on the uh, official Jagex Old School Internet Magazine. I think it, pretty in it was pretty interesting. It's a pretty good read. And uh, like this video if you enjoyed. Um, and I do want to hear you guys' thoughts. What it, so, You know, the community seems very mixed on this on both issues, the God Wars Dungeon and the uh, the pre EOC servers. So let me know your opinions on that. Uh, subscribe if you're uh, if you haven't already, and uh, join the friend chat Andrew AJT62. And I will uh, see you guys soon. I got one more exam left on Tuesday, chemistry, which I'm not too worried about. I mean, I am worried about it. I'm studying and everything, so um, I won't be on too much this the rest of the weekend and Monday because I I'm studying for that. But after that, I'm pretty much done with with. Uh, junior year so anyway it'll I'll plenty of time to make videos this summer I don't really have much going on so uh yeah guys see you guys later and uh enjoy reading the little thing I wrote later